So something big's come up lately that's been taking up an awful lot of my time. I haven't had quite the usual amount of time to record videos. I've been super busy with this thing. It's very important. I can't tell you what it is, but yeah, it's just been eating up my time an awful lot. So I thought I'd try and make a slightly quicker video today. And I have just the thing here to look at. It is a power worker. So this isn't anything new, it's a piece of equipment you've possibly seen before, but I do find it's gone a little bit out of vogue. You don't tend to hear people talking about it that often. And I think that's a shame because I think it's quite a cool piece of gadgetry. So in case you haven't seen this before, the idea is simple. It is a bar that you can push or pull or bend like so, and it offers up resistance. In this case, this one claims that it provides up to 110 pounds of resistance. So when I do this, it's a bit squeaky. I'm basically doing a peck fly and it's very convenient because you don't need a whole resistance machine in your house, but it can do a whole bunch of other stuff too. For instance, you're supposed to be able to pull these and then do stuff like that. I don't know what that is. In the picture, it shows the guy doing bicep curls. But I find that is a little sketch. More useful is pressing down on the top of this whilst it's on the floor and doing a kind of tricep push down. In the picture, it also has people doing it with their arms behind their back. I don't know how you're supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> the main reason I really like it is because I can throw it into a bag if I'm going on a trip and then I can work out, you know, at my parents' house or my friend's house without having to carry around dumbbells with me and looking like a special person. The other thing that makes this quite interesting is the fact that it's great for overcoming isometrics. That means an isometric exercise where you're pushing as hard as you can against an immovable force. Likewise, it's useful for yielding isometrics, which means you're just holding the thing in place like so. So you might push it halfway and then just hold it there like this. And as you'll know, if you've watched my previous videos, Isometric training is a great way to build the mind-muscle connection, to increase muscle fibre recruitment and to generally improve your strength. And it's not that easy to do always because, you know, if you want to do pecs, um, doing some form of isometric training, then your only real options are either to hold dumbbells above you, which could drop on the floor, this is training at home of course, or to hold yourself in a press-up position which isn't offering that much resistance, or to try and push against the wall which is not that comfortable and involve your legs just as much as your arms. So this is a great way to do that kind of training for your pecs and to increase your kind of crushing power. And crushing power is cool. On here it says to hold each position for seven seconds in order to get the full benefits and to repeat several times. And I can attest that that will indeed work and help you build up some strength. What happens is when you push something and hold the position and it requires a lot of force, the brain is forced to use as much as the fast twitch muscle fiber as possible, call it into action, just as though you were doing your one rep max. You know, it gets to the point where muscle fiber starts fatigue and it needs to bring in other ones. By doing that, you can actually increase your ability to call upon your maximum strength when required and studies show that training with this kind of isometric, either, even either very intense yielding isometric or overcoming isometric as in using a lot of strength will build up your one rep max and your grip strength and your crushing strength in just the same way 
that training with incredibly heavy weights will, but it's much more convenient because it's packed into this little thing. You're not gonna drop a weight on you. And also the movement is something that would be very hard to replicate with one rep max. So yeah, this is how Bruce Lee trained for strength, as you'll know if you've watched my Bruce Lee training video. And it's how others like Dennis Rogers and many proper strong men train. So if you wanna integrate that into your routine, then isometric training is a great way to do that. And also this is a great way to do that. Of course, we're only looking at our pecs here and our triceps and maybe our biceps. You're gonna need to come up with more methods for training other body parts in an isometric way. But as a starting point, this is pretty good. And I will be doing a video in future on the best isometric exercises you can do to build strength and crushing power. So stay tuned for that one. It does ache the joints a little bit, but it's a cool thing nonetheless. Definitely something different to throw into your training. It's certainly useful to bring on a trip. And I find myself, say, often using it to do the tricep push downs, but also for a bunch of other stuff. It's one of those things you can just pick up when you're going through the room, get a little bit of strength training, and drop it down without having worked up a sweat or have to move around your whole room. So yeah, and the fact that it's portable as well is a bonus. You can find this on all sorts of websites like Amazon and fitness sites. And it's not just called a power bar. You can also see it called a power worker, a bull worker. Type in bull worker and it should come up. So yeah, let me know what you think. Do you use one of these? Is it something you might add to your own collection? Thanks so much for watching guys. If you found this useful, please consider liking, um, sharing and subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.